everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I'm going to, you know, review and demo. This is the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation. So this is a new launch by Miss Claire. One of my subscribers actually told me that Miss Claire had this new foundation. So I really wanted to try this one out. And I also have some other makeup that I haven't used much on camera. So I tested them out, like not tested, but I tried them out in today's video as well. So I hope you guys like the video and also I just want to say that this is not my first time trying out this foundation actually. I have already tried it once out yesterday. So I have my thoughts on this foundation. So anyway, let's get on with the video now. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my face. If you like the video, you can hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I post affordable makeup, fashion and skincare on this channel here. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation looks like this. This comes in a 30ml of tube and this actually has uh, like 30ml product in here and this retails for 325 For the price, I think so this is amazing and it also has 14 different shades in it. So I would like to say that as a really affordable brand here in India, they did a quite good job at coming out with so many different shades. Now I'm in the shade 05 beige. This is how it looks like. You can see this in the tube here itself. Now I'm going to go in with the primer and I'm going to go with the primer that I know that I already love and I'm going to go in with the primer that I know I already love. This is the Mars Hydra Glow Primer and I have been loving this ever since I got it. So I'm just going to take two drops of this and put this all over my face. tested this primer out already and I know how it works on my skin but anyway I'm going to test this out again today and I'm, I'm not going to take too much this is like for an everyday basis so just a little bit right here as you can see the foundation shade matches me very very well So I'm going to go in and blend the foundation with a beauty blender. This is from Mars Cosmetics. This is my favorite makeup sponge ever. And this one retails for around rupees 200 or 299, something like that. And you can use my code Arnakshi10 to get 10% off. Anyway, I'll zoom you guys in as well so that we can do this together. As you can see, it doesn't look patchy at all and it's sitting so well on my skin. I would say coverage wise, this has a light to medium kind of coverage. It's definitely not a full coverage, you know, foundation. It is. It suits the name perfectly. It is an everyday foundation and it feels very lightweight. I feel like I have no makeup on at all but if you have oily skin i would definitely like you you know to say that you have to put a, some powder on your face to set this in since i have dry skin i don't need to do that and i don't like to set my makeup that much with powder anyway this gives a very very natural look on the skin you can totally see how it is looking so I'm going to go in with my concealer now and as for concealer, I'm going to use something that I haven't used in a very long time. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Camo Concealer. This is the hydrating one and I'm just going to use this one. After the concealer is done, I'm going to do the rest of my base makeup and I'm going to show you guys how everything sits on top of this foundation. So as for bronzer, I'm going in with this Color Essence bronzer. I got this in my recent haul, makeup haul, and this is what I like to use. So I'm going to use, like just put a little bit of bronzer, not that much. This is how the bronzer is looking as you can see definitely blended very very well now i'm going to go in with this elf putty blush and this is in the shade bahamas this is a very beautiful peach looking blush i don't use this again i don't use this enough so i am going to use this in today's video so i'm just going to take this bh cosmetics brush and just dab in a little bit of that blush it is definitely a very light shade 
but I feel like these blushes are really good for you know oily skin as well because it's not too dewy it is a very beautiful natural finish I would say not too dewy not too matte as well so this is how the blush is looking so after applying the blush, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow. This is the stick highlighter. Now, I actually got this. This is a new purchase and I got this in my last haul, makeup haul video. But I did not apply this because uh, I had so much of different makeup products to try on. So I did not apply this. So I'm going to apply this right now on my cheeks here. It is a little, you know, a little silvery for me. But I'm just going to blend this with my fingers just to make it look natural so i feel like this shade is like a little too silvery for my skin tone but if i if here i applied it a little bit and it looked good i mean it it doesn't look like something is sitting on top of my skin but in this area i applied it a lot and it's definitely looking a little bit too much but on this cheek it is definitely looking very natural and just you know glowing from within type of a look so i the shade is a little light obviously but i think going in with the fingers and just dabbing it in and going in with a very light amount is going to do the trick so this is my base makeup all done now and i'm going to zoom you guys again so that you can see how my foundation looks like so now for my eyes i'm actually going to go in with the same bronzer that i used i have to say that this one actually looks like my skin tone on pan but when you just apply this on your face it looks like a bronzer it doesn't look like this it gets a little bit deeper i have to say that so I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush. I'm not going to do too much on the eyes. So you can see that this shade definitely gets deeper when you apply this. So after, this is how the bronzer looks like on my eyes. It definitely looks like a shadow. So I'm going to use the Mars liner, this is the pen liquid liner. Now I got this uh, in my recent haul again from Mars but I did not try this out on camera so I obviously have to try this out in today's video. So this is how the tip looks like as you can see. I'm just going to draw a wing and hope that... So this is how the liner looks like. I have to say it is very easy to you know draw a liner with a pen. So this is how my liner looks like. It is black. It is very easy to apply. And now I'm going to use the Maybelline mascara. I have been using this for like since forever since I got it. And I really do like how it looks like. Uh, I'm going to apply a little bit of the bronzer on my lower lashes as well. So as for my lips now, I got this new Nykaa Matte to Last. This is not new actually, it is new to me. I got it along with the Miss Claire foundation. So that is why I wanted to try out in today's video. So this is the mini, this is very tiny actually. Uh, so this is in the shade Chai, I think. I don't know what the shade is. Madras Copy. So this is in the shade Madras Copy. And I am going to apply this. I actually have never used Nykaa liquid lipstick. So this is my first time trying them out. So this is how my makeup looks like. I tried to keep it very very simple today and I really love how it turned out. So anyway, I am just going to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation, what I think about it. Now, I really like how natural this is. Obviously, if you have, as I said, if you have oily skin to combination skin, I do think that you need to set this with some powder. But it is nowhere near oily or dewy or only for dry skin. And if you are if you are someone who has dry skin, wow, this is you're going to love this. I have extremely dry skin and 
I really love this foundation. This I feel like is going to be one of my favorite. I just know it right away when I love a foundation and this is going to be the one I feel like and I just love even though it doesn't have that coverage i love how natural it looks you know sometimes even if a foundation doesn't have coverage even if it is glowy it doesn't look like skin you know what i'm saying but this looks like skin it is that natural and i'm going to zoom you guys and give you a final look how my makeup looks like you can totally see that for yourself and obviously i have to say i do not use any filters no filters, it is just whatever you are seeing on camera, this is how it looks in real as well. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. You can totally see how blended my uh, foundation looks. I mean like all of my makeup looks, the highlighter looks good, the blush looks good, the bronzer looks good and just the whole base makeup looks so good. Obviously, as I said, it is not that much of a full coverage foundation, but you can see how how natural it is looking so my opinions are this definitely is a win for me i have to say that and if you know over time if i don't like it i will update you guys totally about it don't worry but as of right now i am loving how this foundation is looking on my skin just loving it and this is definitely a very weightless natural foundation just like the name suggests it is an everyday weightless natural foundation you guys need to check this one out so the last thing I wanted to talk about this foundation is the longevity. I, as I said yesterday, I tested this out and it does wear very, very well. So if you want to make it the longevity of this foundation a little longer, I would say just pack in a little bit of a compact powder and then just set it and it's going to last longer. On my skin, it did last up to like six to seven hours. Uh, on a humid hot day so you can estimate how much longer it's going to stay if you apply a compact powder i just wanted to point that out so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys a lot i hope this was helpful in some way i did try to use some of my makeup that i wasn't using enough as well so anyway i will see you guys in my next video also if you are someone who hasn't subscribed to my channel yet you should because i post really affordable makeup skincare and fashion videos in here as well so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye bye